Hey, what's going on guys? So tonight I am cleaning out my throttle body and changing out these spark plugs. Um, so as you can see, I've already taken off the air duct. It was relatively easy to do. Um, unscrew this clamp here. This clamp right here, just use a flathead. And you gotta unplug this. Unplug this from here. Unplug this. I believe this is the uh, electronic throttle cable, whatever you call it. I actually broke the red clip thing here that locks it up. So I don't know if that's going to be permanently unlocked or if I'll be able to fix that, but probably not. Um, I unplug this. I think this is like the map sensor or something. I need to get caught up on my terminology. Um, and this airbox is really difficult to get off. You have to, it kind of hooks up on this side. So you unclip those two. And then you kind of just uh, scoop it out of there. It's hard to describe. So, let's take a look. You can see this throttle body is not even closing all the way. There's so much carbon buildup. So, it's really good that I'm doing this because that cannot be good. So after I do that, then I'll be changing out the spark plugs. <clears throat> um, with the throttle body, looks like there's four bolts. Um, yeah, and then you got the four bolts here. So let's get started on this. All right, so a quick update here. I have cleaned out the throttle body. Looks nice and clean. It was pretty gunked up, pretty bad. So I am very pleased with the uh, result there. And uh, spark plugs. I have done three on the driver's side already. So I am about to do the fourth one. There was a ton of dirt and debris. I really need that engine bay clean. And of course it's very important to blow out all of the debris from the spark plug hole because you don't want that stuff getting into the engine. Um, so taking out the throttle body, it's uh, four eight millimeter bolts. I just covered that up so I don't get dirt in there. And then these fuel injectors, I think that's what you call them, or completely spacing out on what those, what these are called, but the coils, coil packs. Uh, these are six millimeters, and they're pretty easy to get to on this side. Um, on the other side, I'm not too sure, I haven't done it yet, but this is my first time changing spark plugs in a Crown Vic, so I think it's going pretty well. Um, I'm torquing them down to 15 foot-pounds because I do not want them spitting out like a lot of people or not a lot of people but I don't know it's pretty common I guess that uh, spark plugs can spit out and um, with this particular car I've been hearing a uh, ticking sound I think it's coming from the passenger side um, but what I've researched is that um, that sound could be the sound of the spark plug uh, slowly backing out and causing what sounds like an exhaust leak, but I'm pretty sure I was on my way to getting one of my spark plugs being spit out, so um, it's really good that I'm changing this out right now because definitely do not want that to happen, so. And by the way, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'm super tired, but I've got to just want to get this done because I've been wanting to get it done for a long time. So, all right, making good progress, and I'll keep you updated here. I fashioned up this really long extension tube for the air compressor, and let's see, a lot of dirt. Oh, I have no idea how much dirt or how how that. 
dirt gets in there like that. I mean, that's a lot. Just want to be extra sure that there's no debris in there. Alright. So I've got my extra long eBay special socket remover. And my 3 8 ratchet. I'm going in. These have been pretty tough for me to break loose because I'm so weak. I need to hit the gym. Let's see if I can. And it's hard to get it seated sometimes too. Got to fish around for it. Okay right, now. Hope you're not in a hurry because uh, this is not going very quickly. Right. How can I find the freaking. Of course, right when I turn the camera on, I start having trouble, right? because when I torque it to 15 foot pounds it barely feels like I'm putting that much pressure but they seem to be in there really good. I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet so I don't wake up my neighbors. You know? I'm trying to be a courteous neighbor. Alright, the rest I can just pull out by hand. I'm not going to film myself doing all eight of them because I don't want to take up your entire day watching my boring video, but maybe you learn a thing or two. This is a learning experience for me, so the only spark plugs I've ever changed were in my Honda Civic floor banger. But that is super easy to change those. All you do is just pop out the coil pack and boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Right. My back is going to be shot tomorrow, bending over like this. Four hours. Alright. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Yeah, that looks to be pretty shot. Is that going to focus? There's a lot of flash light. It's actually good and it's helping me work. Okay. Here is our new spark plug. I've gapped all of them to... What is it? 54... Thousandths. Owner's manual says 52 to 56, so I just met him in the middle with 54. Couldn't find in the owner's manual what uh, what the torque spec is, but everyone says between 12 and 21. But uh, I'm just gonna go with. Uh, you know, old trusty reliable WJ Handy Dad he says to go 15, so I'm gonna go 15. I know he had a problem with uh, spit plugs, so definitely don't want that to happen. That is a 
nightmare scenario for me. And it seems like um, you know, repairing the uh, the spit plug with the threads. I don't know how in the world that works, but it seems like a very difficult thing to do to repair the threads on that, so. And I've heard that even if you do everything correctly, you can still spit the plugs, so. It's got me a little bit nervous, but uh, you know what? That's life. Sometimes things happen. All right. Going to 15 foot pounds. And that's it. I barely took any effort at all. Um, by the way, I've prepped the spark plugs by putting some spark plug grease on the ends there, on the white part. And um, I couldn't really put any in here because there's this spring in here. So, whatever, I'm just going to leave it. And I've also cleaned it off with some simple green. Just because I'm OCD like that. There's a ton of dirt down here. I need to really need to clean up this engine bay. It's embarrassing. Okay. When I put these coil packs in, I don't really hear like a satisfying uh, click or a feeling. It just kind of goes in there. But it's it's flush, so it should be okay. My six millimeter bolt. Gotta hand tighten this. Let's see. I can't see a damn thing. I need my Some things don't go as planned sometimes. It never goes completely 100% smooth. There's always going to be a little hiccups. When you're working on cars, especially if you're working on a Jeep, like I've done in the past. Nothing against Jeeps, I love Jeeps, but sometimes they're a pain in the ass to work with. Just trying to pass the time along with my little uh, anecdotes here. And, uh, yeah. Got my handy dandy uh, quarter inch ratchet with the universal joint, which is saved me on numerous occasions. I'm not sure what the foot pounds on this coil pack bolt is, but I'm just going to tighten it down. Pretty good. Not too tight. Alright, and that one is done. Let's put this bad boy back in. It's weird, this, the third one when I tried to plug in, plug it back into the coil, it wouldn't click. So I had to really jam it in there, and then finally it, it appeared to be in there correctly because it won't come out now without me, um, you know, clicking the tab on here. So whatever. Okay, so this side is done, and so I will be reinstalling the throttle body and Mr. Uh, air duct and uh, I'll be doing the other side so stay tuned if you feel inclined to do so all right throttle body is going on we've got this gasket type of 
thingamajiggy. Only goes in one way. These two little tabs here. Alright. Just put the top ones in. Hold it in place. First you want to hand tighten it first. Just like everything else. I also want to clean out this part too, but I think I don't have to take the whole thing apart here. But I really don't feel like doing that right now, so that'll have to be for another day. There it is. Hold up a second. Actually, you know what? I stand corrected. The coil pack bolts are seven, seven millimeter. They're not six. And these bolts, the throttle body are eight. I guess this is a how-to video, but it's sort of a hangout vlog, I guess. I don't know. Who wants to hang out with me, right? <laughs> This is uh, surprisingly easy to work on this car, though. I mean, it really is. It's a joy to work on. Everything is clear and concise. And there's no uh, curveballs here, you know. You know exactly what you're getting into. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, this <laughs> the camera mount is mount is a uh, magnetic. So when I grabbed the bolt, it was connected to the freaking mount. Oh god, I need some daylight. This throttle body was so dirty. I don't think it was ever cleaned. The car's got 97,000 miles, so that's probably 97,000 miles worth of carbon buildup. Not sure what the torque spec on these bolts are either. Oh, my back is killing me. I don't know how guy or mechanics do this all day. Oh, Jesus. Might have to just take a break soon because this is like really exhausting. At least it's not 40 degrees below zero. It's nice and it's really nice out here. It's like springtime finally, so I can work on my cars more. Mr. 
air duct back on. I wonder if I should put some some kind of lubricant in here next time for next time. It's like really hard to get this. Put some carb cleaner on that boy. All right, so it is day two, and last night I was able to get seven spark plugs replaced. And of course, the rear passenger spark plug was uh, giving me a pretty hard time. So after a lot of fussing and cussing, I decided to call in a night last night. And then, so tonight I'm just finishing this last plug up, and I was able to get it out. Um, basically, what I did, this thing was in the way, whatever this is, it was right here, so I couldn't get my socket wrench to get enough clearance, so what I did is I took two 8mm bolts off of this bracket, and I just slid this contraption over this way and I was able to get uh, enough room to get the spark plug out so that is very good news so uh, I won't have to call a uh, AAA to tow my car to a <laughs> mechanic shop that'd be very embarrassing right okay so that is good whoops here's the old spark plug Looks pretty, pretty, pretty uh, worn out there, so. Making progress here. All right, I've put the final and eighth spark plug in. The hole down there. So what I had to do is kind of push this tube out of the way. And then, you know, with this out of the way, also that really, uh, helped a tremendous amount with the clearance so and this is what I was using here Tecton torque wrench the 11 inch extension with the swivel um, socket and then I've got a 3 inch extension you probably don't even need the 3 inch extension but yeah no fancy uh, universal joints or anything so Pretty cool. So I'll put this back together and um, we'll be done finally. <laughs> 